Pull in. We are back. Okay, we've got to do it here now. Uh, and here we so we're back on court one two it is. from the dream team. Okay. I've been on court so two almost you begin your voice. for the last day or two. Um, What's it like to be sitting in court one, Chris? Not too bad. I think it's, got a, shot it's a nice little uh, change, change your position. Um, yeah, there's a lot. We're back with the open doubles here. We have Mohamed Mansi and Mohamed Mansi and Julio Carlos. Julio Carlos off a tiebreaker win with uh, Fikro Abdul earlier on. Um, Mohamed Mansi played for Conor McEldoff um, in the round of 16, uh, going down in two games. They're playing uh, Shane Dunn and Mark Shane Dunn and Mark Doyle. So uh, Mark Doyle, a Wexford man, Shane Dunn from Kilkenny. They're putting their differences aside for this match, Ali. Very good. They're the different county men, but they're going to. Well, they're rivals. Wexford and Kilkenny. Big rivals. Big okay. rivals. So they're really not they, they're the putting their differences but they're, aside. They've a lot of things in common. They're, they're playing. Two of them were states, I Oh, yeah. Two so of them are top 40 by 20 players and 60 by 30 players. So it's almost like they've, a. Uh, they've played lots of doubles together. Okay. They've played both sides. Okay, lads, when we're ready. They've uh, former US collegiate doubles champions. So. These guys know they know each other's game. Good men's open. A lot together, Big ball so. doubles. Serving. Mark Doyle is one go. of the bright stars of the WPH tour at the moment. It's a brilliant year on the tour this year. Died away. Um, adapting his skill set to the one ball coach. So Shane Dunn, a former semi finalist to the Irish Nationals in one ball as well. Okay. So, yeah, you probably were hey, commentating one on zero. this game in Kilglass, probably. I don't think so. I wasn't, were we? Were me and you? Not me and you. No, I don't think I was. Someone, I don't point. think so. I missed that one. That's a quick point to Team Ireland. Scores 2 0. Ireland versus America. Shane Doug goes to an overhand serve. Block. Back. It's a replay. Play over. Shane moves. He just moved his hand out of the way there. 2 0. Julio Carlos. Um, I was talking to his training par partner, Timbo Gonzalez, earlier on. He said he's uh, an MMA fighter. He played a little bit of handball, never took it seriously. Play over. Uh, over the course of the last year, he's been playing, especially the last six months, course, two zero. every second day at 10 o'clock in the morning. Wow. He played five or six games a day with, with Timbo. So he came in here Play as over. a unknown, but he's, uh, Better space he's lads. a top, top player. Same score, 2 0. Pull it. Referee Paul Donnelly. Um, okay, two spares zero. Top top senior player. He uh, played Connor McEldoff in the All Ireland semi final a couple of weeks ago. That's a good one. Play over. Go with it. Don't think it's good. Okay. Closest person to it, yeah? It's a point. 3 0. Paul Donnelly overrules himself there at the protest of the lads, which is fair to do. Um, he uh, to dig us out. Good power from Mark. Well got back. One side away. Well, he picked Great quick, pick. He's a quick, quick guy. Jeez, he's very quick. Great reflexes. Three serves one. He, he looks so composed. We were saying that against the game, his game with Fierke earlier on. He's so composed around the place. Point. Yeah. Was it a tiebreaker that game? Yeah. And, uh, but he, 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 he dominated the tiebreaker. Now, he scores he four top, serving top one. Over there. So. Mark Doyle goes down the middle. Shane doing the same. Doubles is always very interesting. Especially with four players with the Boy. footwork that these four players have. Yeah. Big run. Five here. serving one. Mark and Shane are quick players. General, but two New Yorkers. Mark, now, uh, he stays out. It's a miss from, from Shane Dunn. Brilliant for server. So, Scores two serving five. Julio Carlos to serve. We're at two serving five at the moment. One hand away. Takes off his left glove. 
or is it back? Or six serving two. Sorry, two serving six. He took off about 50 shirts as well. <laughs> I think that was Mohammed, wasn't it? Yeah, Mohammed, sorry. Yeah, yeah. He, he changed his long shirts. That's a great backhand. Nice backhand then. Talk about changing the togs at one stage. He was. Good luck, good, good block. stance. Good point. Good okay. Again, this shouldn't Sorry. be allowed because he can't appeal. Can't appeal a discretional call. Say it away. Mark. Going in to serve at seven, serving two. Outside. Mark going for a big angle there. Off Shane's serve. Seven, serving three. Our Line judges here on this course from the Basque Country. We've got Lur and Mikel, and on the lot short line we have Kean Dunning from the Four in, seven out. Cork, the current minor world ball champion, one of the favourites. Stay over. The Seventeen and under great. I know Shay Monroe is definitely. Four in, seven out. About that. Stay over. Go to same score, four serving seven. Julio Carlos puts it down the middle there towards Shane Dunn. Shane with the Irish whip underhand. Ball was gone, point. Carlos, four Julio serving eight. Had a full, full view of that. Dumb ball, it was pretty close second to serve. Foil. Drives it down to Mark Doyle. You see Shane Dunn's position. He's, he's back deep, yeah, too he's far deep. Too deep. He, okay. You can in, in one ball. You want your. You look at where Julio and Mohammed are. Five serving in. Locking out the short line. That's putting them in an element of control. Shane is having a hard time getting around. That's a great pick. Oh, Shane's disappointed with that. That's a great pick by you, Mohammed Mansi. Oh, fast, him guys. So for six in, eight out. And he was so quick to get up as well. And there Stayed away. Mansi. Mohammed Mansi represented Palestine. And as we move for a ball, ball to come back into play. Things are starting to slowly wind down here a little bit in, in the University of Limerick. It's been a hectic game of the of games all day here. In serve. Hold it. Hold it. The score. Scores nine, serving six. As we listen to our referee, Paul Donnelly from Lot McQuarrie in County Tyrone. Point. Who became a father there. Ten, just, serving uh, six. A couple of days ago. Lay over. Baby girl, so that boy is very, very happy at the moment. Ten, serving six. Having a good week. Uh, yeah, congratulations. Um, Laura, we'll give, him, give, uh, give him a, a good exhibition, give him a good hammer on yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't ten, himself at all. Maybe he was up late nights with the baby. Yeah, I think he might Bumble. have had one, one night off without, without, the fa without his new family. But look, he said, at the end of the day, Paul's a top player. Lur is... He's a season. He's, 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 season. he's a dark horse for this championship. You know? I'd say. I'll tell you who's a dark horse this championship. He's playing good. <coughs> Naz. I think now he's, 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 he's very much like oh. Taiwan in style. Yeah, it's it's <coughs> an open championship. I yeah, think Taiwan eight, hasn't ten. really played played his best stuff at all. I think he was still a little lacking a little bit of sharpness this morning when he played Cormac Finn. But he showed up really late. He showed up about quarter to nine. Yeah. The game was supposed to be a half eight. And Cormac was here at twenty past. He's he's lost, just lost. He, him being late is not in use. Eight thing. serving he, eleven. Really? He got he lost to Luke Thompson um, from him being late. They, they'd given the game to Luke, and then Luke sportingly gave him another opportunity, but he took a 10 0 lead. And uh, he lost the, the US two years ago because he lost 21 20. Really? After being 10 0 down at the start. So, oh, okay. Score is 12 uh, serving eight. Yeah, so he. Missed out on an opportunity at US Nationals. Okay, yeah. Again, there might have been mitigating circumstances, we don't know that, but 
Well then, get out. He was pretty late today and he was very relaxed when he got in. He didn't, was in no rush to play. So, Inside away. Hits himself in, in the rally here. Just well looking serving at this nine. screen, it's such a phenomenal facility that they put together here in the University of Limerick. Yeah, it's amazing floor too. How you, you had a game there? What do you think of the floor? Yeah. Oh, the floor is brilliant. Brilliant floor. So good. Yeah. And is that outside? Yeah, outside. I don't see it as an avoidable. I don't see it as one. Okay. The boys look for everything. They yeah. look for everything. I do you know what? It's in they're they're playing in their own interest. It they scores used to 13 play for serving nine. Money games and cash games and you know that that's a ruthless New York mentality of trying to get as much as they can. Honestly, he's very quick hands, that guy. Yeah, very quick very hands, good. Carlos. He's just quick, so quick, he's got great balance. 10, serving Seems 13. Switch, stands here and rolls it in the corner. Two amazing hands as well. The Irish lads are sticking with them though. They are. Mark Doyle handcuffs Julio Carlos, but the only th oh, outside. Uh, Julio puts it outside. At 13. <laughs> right. Shane, the only thing that I think that Shane, if Shane could push up a yes. little bit closer, yeah, is that he's very deep on on some of these rallies, and he's given Mohammed a good opportunity to just kind of stake a claim inside. Mark, in fairness, is making it really awkward for Julio. But okay, I think second Shane hand. The exact same score is him. ten, serving fourteen. Press up, like you know. Streetwise to, yeah. to slow slow down, get recovered, check the floor. Eleven check in, fourteen gloves. out. I wouldn't know anything about that stuff, Chris. You Eleven, that stuff seven, first. fourteen. <laughs> Short be, ball. That ball's got to be on the second serve. Hold it. A referee. Eleven, fourteen. Control. Shane goes for a spike. It was a lovely spike too. I think Julio is actually expecting him to no, go for a spike. No, he's a glove off. 15 serving 11. Off. He's putting the glove on. <laughs> Will you see this That's man? a great That's shot a by Mark. That's a great shot and he fist pumps. He he's happy with, with that. Look at this again. Will you see this again? He's in. 16 Bang. serves 11. Lovely shot. That's Good angle. Really, that's a great shot. Oh, it's outside. outside. Oh, unlucky there Shane. Mark Doyle. For 16 serves here. 12. They're 16 12 up. This would be an impressive win if they could take, start with taking this first game. Shane Dunn holds the over. Mark! Play over. Reserve. Yeah. So the boys are getting They're ready for court 16, two. Devlin and his partner. That's a good shot by Mark Doyle. Mark, Mark's confidence is off the chain at the moment. He's, He's been great stuff. Great stuff. Really well. okay, the They're, score is 17 serving like 12. They're taking the lead here. 17 12. Yeah. Big talk. Right away. Right, that was a 13 in, Mark. 17 out. There, but Julio Carlos with the serve. It's a good shot. Point. Can't give him easy ball like that though. 14 get, serve 70. Again, the delivery here, Ali. Yeah, delivery. People are giving me presents all day. It's great. How come I don't get it's any great. presents? Uh, um, all I get is abuse from Johnny Wesley. Really? Point. Yeah. Chocolate yeah, but you're good friends with Johnny, you can afford to, you know. <laughs> 15 oh, Johnny give me abuse about? Best of friendlies. Best of friendlies, yeah. What was the abuse about? He, he said I'm the voice of a generation. First time I called? No. 
but he wasn't serious. He was lying. Okay. I knew that. He knew that. Okay. It's Julio Carlos and Mohamed Mansi actually tied this up. And guys, this is this the timeout that was put? Yeah, timeout. Uh, the the, America, uh, the Palestine dude, um, Mohamed, he's gas. He's gas. Yeah. He's, uh, this he's, is probably I, his third shirt already. Can I just say, I saw him change shirts four times in the singles. Unbelievable. And gloves. Gloves. And he was going to go I, for the shorts, Chris. I'd say. The referee had to stop him. I'd say he has a wardrobe with him. Yeah, shoes, you name it, socks. He'll go, he'll try it. He probably sent over, like, a truck full of clothes before the championship. I don't know how his mammy's going to wash them or his wife. Oh, gee, Mac. I wouldn't like to see his laundry bag. That's, uh, I w he could, he could. This is just a suggestion, wash them himself. No. No, 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 no. Women. Yeah, listen. Huh? Listen. No, I suppose we you gotta wash them, don't we? Well, Score yeah, 16, you have to. I have to wash 17. I got washing powder on the thing if you need some actually. I bought them today in the uh, apartment. Big rally. That's a great, That's a great shot. block by Shane. Shane done. Shane done Shane his down there. Great stance. Good. That was great. 16 serves 18. Jeez, the boys are coming back. Yeah, they, they have, but like. I still think the lads. That's a great spin by Shane Dunn. In fairness, with these walls, they really take a spin. Shane has moved in now. He's moved into That's the centre. They've see. changed That's positions. Look at that. They're really putting the boys off. That's really right. um, Mark has moved, Mark moved out, out, and Shane has moved in. But that's why I want to see. I want to see them. Two, Towards the 19, two of them sir, 16. Look where Shane is now. Yeah, he's moved out again. It's a bad habit. It's a bad habit, and he's. And, it, and to be honest, that's important in all codes of handball. Can't give the opposing players. Of course, position. twenty gimbal serving sixteen. But then they are serving for the first game. They've been convincing winners of this first game, to be honest. They Definitely have played the better handball. Oh, that's. No, it's 2016, the last days. It's 1720 now. 1720, sorry. Good. Oh, okay. Just hold the mark. Yes, go right. So yeah. six, 16, 20. Or 20 gimbal serving 17. Oh, 17, okay. Shane comes across. Great big shot. Angle, big, great big, shot. Big. Block. Blood, he away. moved, he moved. Good, good call from yeah, the referee. Yeah, great call, good refereeing. Running in ball serving 17. And it's hard to referee again with that pace. Go. Play over. You see Julio hit that side, that kind Here of mark. half side arm, yeah. half overhead with the chop. Yeah. Hold it just. Okay, we go again. 20 gimbal serving 17. Great serve by Mark Boyle there in person. Well, that's out. Side out. So the Irish lads have given the Americans a chance. 18 in, 20 just out. Need one point to finish this out. As Keen Dunley goes to retrieve the ball. On court okay, 18 two, serving yeah, 20. Gorosini, between Christian Blackby and Mark O. This, could this be a winning shot for Mark and O? Goes down the middle. That one is, goes for that's a great shot. shot. That's a great, great shot. Great shot for the first game. We'll have a quick, quick break here, Chris, and we'll be right back. Perfect.
Okay, and we are back. We're going to be back with game two now in a second. And I've replaced one lefty for another. I've replaced lefty Ali Casti with lefty Willie Polanco. Okay, lads, How you doing, Willie? How are you I'm feeling? Doing, I'm doing great, Chris. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to uh, catching the action, commentating on on all these great games that are going on. They're pretty good, aren't they? See, it, that, okay. it's been a busy, busy day of it. So a lot of great games. Um, uh, yeah. You hear the crackle. That's our referee just getting the microphone on, so the players and the people in attendance can hear okay, us. Okay, zero zero. We we're just. Uh, I was just asking you there before we went on on air, Willie. That you didn't tag me in your speech yesterday when you won the small ball doubles. Um, what's that about? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I def definitely did have to uh, thank my lovely wife and, and our baby for everything, uh, for having me here. But uh, I, I will not make that same mistake again. Okay, say it away. I've known you longer, man. Yes. <laughs> I've known you 50 He's years. on the lane saying good. <laughs> that is true. Well, look, we'll right get ball. over that. Right One there. serving zero. Right there, we have a, a side out and a point for... You're uh, moving really on to the game very quickly then. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this, is, this is where the action is at. This is, this is what, what everyone's here, here to uh, talk about. So, uh, yeah, we're, so the Irish lads actually took the first game here. against Julio and Mohammed. Long ball, um, second serve. What was probably a little bit of an upset, but Mark Doyle and Shane Dunn are two of Ireland's top seniors. And Mark also plays on the right. four wall WPH tour over two. in America. Three he's zero. been on the tour the last two years. He's been in Three college zero. over there. And uh, his doubles partner when they won the US Three Collegiate zero. was oh, no. Shane Dunn. So oh. it's they great know to each see. other very well. Yeah, it's great Four to see their transition three. to uh, the one wall. One, th sorry, three, they one. have all the, the technical. Um, uh, bases in, 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 in play, they, they can they can attack, they get everything back on the wall with both yeah. hands, hit it with power. It was great to see right there, that was a, an amazing yeah. shot, okay. hit right down two, at Rio Carlos, who hit it slightly out two, of the left three. side. So, like, I know, like, obviously, my, myself being in the game for a number of years, I've seen a massive development in, uh, in the way Irish players have played the game, but it must be Together like for you because you've kind of come over here sporadically you must see a massive jump at the moment in the way that irish players have developed the game compared to say 2000 definitely 2003 but even around 2006 to say 2010 2012 to now that 12 year gap is a massive change of the way irish players play the game absolutely um you can definitely tell by uh, the last kill shot there um where they went off the wall and Three, seven, killed the right corner. Uh, that's something that is, is usually not standard. Uh, from what I saw earlier, let's say, like, as uh, okay, 2003, a lot of it would have been to be uh, back line. up yeah. and yeah. hit it yeah, yeah. and with the Irish whip. Now they're uh, being very, very uh, forceful, very aggressive, and making sure that they lay the ball down uh, yeah. from uh, early uh, from the front court. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you're here for Julio's game against uh, against Fierke. It was a real battle. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I Five, definitely seven, did catch three. that. Uh, the highlights on that game. That was an amazing battle. And Fierke here at only 19, showing that he's at the top level of, of this sport. Yeah, uh -huh. Julio is a very interesting uh, character that's come over. Again, a lot of Irish players wouldn't have known him and. I know he, 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 obviously he was in the MMA scene for a while, but he's really adapted a lot of the footwork skills to play in top level handball. Uh, side out there. Yeah, big hand side. there, wasn't it? And Mohammed, obviously, he played Connor and Michael Duff earlier on. Connor played a little bit within himself, and Mohammed showed Double. what a dangerous player he can be as well. Absolutely. He almost had him, and then I did see that. Uh, Connor was able to uh, right the ship and go ahead and take over uh, at the end of that second game. Yeah, so um, obviously you've known Connor a long time now. And uh, Connor's been very dominant in Ireland and on the European tour for a couple of years as well. Um, not Maybe not as much in the last year. He hasn't been going out as much. Um, but like, 
Connor could have a big say in where the title goes, and he's probably Ireland's best prospect for 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 winning winning the world championships this week. That would be definitely a good chance. I mean, his 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 style, his his determination, his practice. You can definitely see that he is deserving of the number one seed. So we're going to see. That's a great shot by McCurdy. Mark. What Sorry. A, no, 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 not uh, absolutely. I mean, we're here for the action. That was an amazing in on his thing. knees and rolls it in front of Mohammed. That's an amazing stuff. But yeah, you're saying about Connor's uh, adaptability and the way he was playing. Yes, he's he's adapted so well. I mean, probably the best one. I know he's won um, several of the World Bowl Nationals here uh, uh, in Ireland. So. He knows the sport, First time I he's call. getting very familiar with it, and I think he's going to go a long way. I'd love to have him over the U.S. and so take on some of our, uh, some of our pros in, in the event. Yeah, I think, I think that definitely has to be see, something Connor has to um, look at maybe for next summer, mm -hmm. um, seeing how things go for him. He's, uh, he, again, he's... Like, look, he, he plays all the coaches He's a top 40 by 20 player, top 60 by 30 player as well. As we hear Paul Dobley, the referee, breathe to the mic there. He's, he's breathing because so much of the action. He's getting he is, tired yeah. as well. He's getting tired watching our. Right? Um, he's not too concerned about us listening to that anyway. So, um, Julio, again, apparently he, took, he beat Taiwan a couple of weeks ago in the game. Yes, he beat Taiwan at the major singles event in New York, the King of the Courts. That was, and he King of the Courts, wow. I would say handily. He was, uh, I think, 21-11, 21-12. So that was a major win. Okay, scores 10, serving Yeah, that, that was won by Tabo, was it? Yes, yep. Tabo won his first King of the Courts. Uh, it's a shame Tabo isn't here. I've seen a lot of him online, and it would be great to see him in person. So I have to go out to New York next summer myself and go, go hang out. Yeah. That was a great lob there in uh, as far as defense. That yeah, Mo off his feet. That allowed to get one quick point. Yeah, the Americans are really starting well here in the second game. Shane Dunn does well to dig that one out. It's a real battle here. That's a good pick by Mark. And oh, wow. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Good doubles Shane. play for Mark. He could have jumped in there, but he just left it to, to Shane and Shane flattens it in front of him. Exactly. If your partner has better position, let him hit the ball. Yes. Oh, oh that's a good shot. Smart shot by Mark. Yeah. Right back at him. Hit him right in the torso. I'm really impressed by the way Mark is actually attacking, him, attacking the boys. Get, try to stay in the short line as much as possible. Um, we were saying in the first game, Shane was kind of giving away position to Mohammed an awful lot. Um, Good shot as well. Ah, some furious pace here. Yeah. Mark has done a little. Shoot, he played over. They let it go. This is a serious oh, wow. rally. Oh, what Look a shot that. by Julio Carlos. That is Lays an it down in that left corner. He just didn't want to end the rally. That's a Any serious way. rally. The Irish has taken a nice time out for themselves. But that's what the Americans want. They want to go out of pace, don't they? Yeah, they, they want to make sure that they can they control the pace. And uh, the New Yorkers are definitely, definitely very adept at getting to the ball, especially off the air. Yes. So if they're playing that, that bang, 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 bang type of game, they'll, they'll play that all day. Yeah, yeah. What I believe the Irish need to do is uh, go ahead and... Uh, play much better position, which would yeah. they can do, and really lay down the ball um, once they're once they're in front the front court. I, I've I've seen that they're really tilling it, and it doesn't come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as we return to return to play here, Julio is also playing the men's A. Surprisingly enough, he's uh, 
Finn, then okay, time please in. go Score with me. Oh, this is a uh, like a top player. Really from the series so for the moment. Oh, no shame Point. takes that out. She's Try to really scoop it up and, and, and move yeah. it about to the left, but it just went wide left. So at the moment, I think the score is 13 to 6 to Team America. Okay, the score is they've, 13 serving 6. They've taken complete control of this second game so far. But in Raleigh's score, that could change very quickly. The Irish are taking, hitting the ball a little bit wild at the moment. 14 serving 6. Need to settle down. And got a few quick points right now. Yeah, they need just. Oh, that's a hand error from Shane. Okay. Now they're coming a little bit undone. They, gotta they are. They just back. need something. If this is going to go to the tie rate, they need something to pick up the confidence a bit. That's another hand error from Shane Dunn. Point. I mean, the game goes so fast, I would even use a yeah. third time out just to see if we, we can Play slow over. down the pace. Uh, yeah, from the Americans. I mean, yeah, right now, Julio Carlos is just serve, uh, serve, make three or four quick points, and then rally scoring, that, that's, that's a lot in this game. Yeah, I think, I think what's really hard one is that Mohammed is in so close to the wall, or he's kind of boxing Shane out so much. They're not actually getting the fight, they're finding it very hard to get into the front court at the moment. We're close to the very frustrated with himself. You know, he played great in the first game. Six. Let's see how the second game ends up. This is it. We, uh, in court two at the moment, we have Team GB, Christian Blackaby, and six. Dan Grant. They're playing. And they've actually switched sides this time. Christian's playing the left for a change. And they're playing Joe Devereaux and Garoge Healy. Another lay down shot to the left hand corner by Julio Carlos. Just bam, right That's there. That's a great shot. Yeah. Great technique. Ball, second serve. We're, at, okay. we're at game point. We're, we're almost there for the second game. This does look like it's going to a tie break. This would be Julio's second tie break of the day. That's outside. That's just outside, and we are going to tiebreaker. We're going to take a five-minute break here, and we'll be coming back with the tiebreaker. 21-7. Okay, and we're back. We're going to a tiebreaker here. Paul Donnelly talking to Mark Doyle and Shane Dunn just before we get started. Okay, um, tiebreak to 11. You're saying that the Americans love these late games. It's late, it's late here at the moment. It's almost 20 to 11. But it's probably a perfect time to watch handball in New York. Exactly. After, after, after work, you get home, you watch uh, top-level handball. 
it's like one of the best one of the oh, best things so i've gotten a lot of uh text and comments zero. about uh, the commentary uh definitely from you and a lot of uh, the other ones that have participated uh to talk well, about I'm the not. game and really showcase it um live well, i'm glad that people were being nice about me it's a, it's a change <laughs> you're a great man chris you're a great uh, man Willie, you know how to get on my good side. <laughs> okay, we so we're a oh, good shot by Mark, but oh, I say Julio just anticipated, he took a half step out to the outside of that line and just dinked it back straight in front of Mark. He made a big hand there. This game is going to be a race to 11. So, I say the American lads are probably favourites after a strong second after that strong second game wow, with that with that shot from Mark on like that re-rolled by Julio Carlos there. yeah it's a great oh, shot is that and he's got error. he's got brilliant hands he's just yeah. got great balance he turns on it turns left and right really quickly you know always good fundamentals in, yeah he's always been in good position you can see his base is yeah. kind of always set before before he hits the ball so here we go uh, just quick lead for the Americans, so, so force everyone. Julio um, knocked out Taiwan in the King of the Courts. Who did he play in the next round then? I believe he played uh, David Velez, who oh, went, yeah. on to, to, went on to face uh, Tavo in the finals. Oh my goodness, look at that shot. That's a that. pick. Oh, oh, well done. Mark, Mark Doyle is rewarded for going out of... Uh, look at this. That's amazing. Like, Mark Doyle's reward just for being cat-like yeah. and getting out there. Yes, that's what it is. Your, your partner two. backs you up. Let him, let them go. Four serving two. Right. Shout out to David, the favorite. Oh, yeah. Velez. He uh, seemed to be playing really well. I watched that game that he had with Tavo. And he looked really good in it, in fairness. Mark Doyle tries to get across. Disappointing day did Julio there. Carlos is really laying down that left corner. Mark has to protect that corner. Yeah, he, again, definitely a dark horse for this World Championships here. Um, Julio, Julio, Julio Carlos. He um, came into this as a relative unknown. By the end of it, every Irish handballer here will know who Julio Carlos is. Yeah, he's definitely uh, uh, one of the better players to see. He has just so much energy, so much stamina. Yeah. Gets around to uh, gets around to the court. Yeah, T Tim Rowe was telling me all about him and saying that he's been playing at 10 o'clock in the morning games on a very regular basis. And uh, look at that pickup by Shane. Oh my goodness, made Mohit at so very, Shane is so quick. Yeah. It's First time very I bad hand. hand over there. All right, let's see if we get Team Ireland back in play. Yeah, it's uh, it's been an interesting game. Like you gotta say that um, Shane and Shane and Mark have really they've equipped themselves well to get a really strong doubles team from America. Yeah, if they can um, come up, maybe score like about two or three points, I can see them definitely, definitely getting right back into this game. Yeah. There it goes again. Here's that. Here's that shot by Julio Carlos down the left hand side. And Mo wanted to be a little bit aggressive on that shot. Just hit it all the way out past the back line. Yeah, it's um we see on court two Lur messing around with two kids. It's great that's one thing that I love about these tournaments is you know the access that these kids have to not just the top players, but like, you know, they come away being really friendly with them and they get really good tips and the top players, like including yourself, you get, hey guys, give so much time to these, these younger age kids that are, you know, coming up and, uh, well, hopefully the future of the sport. Yeah, absolutely. They'll, you know, they're the ones that will be you know, 17, 18, 19 in a few years. Yeah, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. There's two kids playing on court too, oh, still. It's great. There it goes. Okay. That's, that's what we spoke about earlier. Uh, I believe Shane really has to get in front of yeah, Mo. He was, he was really out of position in that. Yeah. that Julio right. Carlos is going to lay three, down that right corner. Seven. Just tap, just place it in there. Yeah. So, if we go into the deeper part of the match, the American lads are only four points away. Irish lads have to do something yeah. big here. 
It's a hand so. error for Mark as you can see. Really not happy with himself. So. Mark puts it down the middle. That's a great shot by, by Mark. Shane has to dig out deep. Like, oh, I love the fact that Mark went for a spike. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is something that we don't, we haven't been seeing in Ireland only up until the last maybe couple of years to see someone come in aggressively, spike Four that out, played up. Julio read it really well, got oh, out into a great position, but they, they still won the rally. But like, it's really positive from an Irish perspective that they're playing in such an aggressive manner. Mark going for it. That's a great oh, shot by Udyar Carlos. Inside out shot to the oh, right corner again. Again, the key is, is Shane the needs to get yeah needs to get in front of Mo. But I did, and Joe, he, all he has to do is go around the other side. Move, go around the outside. So Mohammed, look where Mohammed is. He's okay. Yeah, they. Oh, Mark and. I didn't see it. Did you see they're playing replay, possibly contact on that? Uh, no, there's no, there's no contact. That's, 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 it. that's it. Oh, okay. there's backs from contact as uh, Shane was diving to the ball. Yeah, that's that's it. I think they're lucky, to be honest. Oh, see? That's, that's where it's dangerous. That's where it's dangerous. One, one little play now. Yeah. Uh, they, they'll go for broke. Got it. Respect Mark going for, going for arguing his points anyway. So I'm going to lay it down easy. Play being let go. Oh, oh Mark went wow. to the outside. Yeah, I had a great, great match. That's a great it's match. So Congratulations to Julio and, and Mo for that. They, they move on. Mark Doyle and Shane Dunn taken out. We're going to be back in a couple of minutes with the double. Do you know who's on next, Willie? Uh, I don't know. Are you just on? Yet. I am on shortly, but uh, I don't know who's exactly on. Anymore. I can't remember myself, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes for the next match anyway. See everyone.